So hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug is a dragon drinking out of a very large coffee mug that says time for coffee. Well, as we all know, I'm not a coffee drinker, so really would have been appropriate to say time for tea. However, I picked it up for the dragon. You all know I'm into the dragons, really into the dragons. Today's tea is um, the last little bit of a loose tea. I don't know if you all remember the cute little box from Tarot and Tea. This is their Six of Swords tea. And it's the last, I mean, it was just a last little bit. This is the problem with loose teas. You get down to the bottom. If you don't have quite enough, can't run out to buy more or whatever. Um, not planning to buy more. And on this particular one, I don't know if I can buy more. Um, they may have it on their website or something. But I suspect that because it is the last of that loose tea, that we're not going to get as much flavor as I hoped for. I really kind of wanted something on the deep and almost coffee side. I don't really like coffee, but almost on the coffee side. And this tea went at full strength and with the right amount of tea kind of gives you that um, that sensation without actually being coffee. Anyway, let's see how it's doing. It has been sitting here for a bit. It sat here while I got my face ready to go. So let's just see how it's going. Yeah, it's in there. It's very mild. Um, you do get some of the flavors, but there isn't a lot. So I don't think this is going to strengthen up by the end of the video, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So today we're doing our February update for my little health journey and all the habits and things that are going on. I do have my notes down here because I actually do my weigh-in and my um, measurements uh, closer to the first um as close to the first as I feel I can do it, or as close to the first as I remember, I should say. Uh, so they've already been done for a couple of days, so I wrote them down to go ahead and talk to you about those. And uh, the rest of it is just, you know, talking about my habits and things. But before we get into that, we have old and new. So on the old for today, I'll be using this Winky Lux Kitten Palette that was sent to me by a friend. Uh, more than likely, I'll just be using some of the lighter colors, this one in particular, I think. Uh, but, you know, we might see some of the other ones make an appearance. For the new, this is brand new. Um, I've been thinking about getting the Born to Run palette, but I've been on the fence about it because there's so many neutrals in it, and I didn't want to pay full price. Well, Too Much Mouth had a video that showed the Born to Run and a dupe. And the dupe is almost an exact dupe. Now, when she did it, she said that she didn't see any difference in the shades, but I could see some lightness or just slight differences, very small. Um, my opinion on dupes is, well, you cannot copyright a color story. And I understand that companies would get upset if things were exact matches. Um, however, not all of us can afford $54 palettes. So this one was $12. This is Prism Makeup's The Ultimate Gravity Interstellar Palette. It comes in a nice sleeve. It is cardboard packaging. It is absolutely beautiful. And my understanding is these colors are exactly what you find in the Born to Run. This was $12 on Amazon. And I'd much rather play around with a $12 palette that... Um, uh, is from that uh, duplicate duplicates a palette that um, I'm not too sure about that I'm interested in but not too sure about and from what she, uh, too much mouth did the pigmentation on this one is great we will find out for sure when we play with it so that's a new um, a lot of my old today will be uh, my brow products uh, the NYX um, Worth the Hype Mascara. I am trying to get rid of a ColourPop Brow Pencil, and I'm trying to get rid of a ColourPop Brow Gel. So those are on the old side for me. As well as this Super Shock Cheek in Between the Sheets is also an old for me. But along the new is this Charlotte Tilbury uh, Sculpt 
Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. So there's that. We're going to give that a try. I suspect that this is going to be a little bit light for me, but I am willing to give it a try and see what happens. It might be good for just, you know, just a subtle thing. If it's too bad, I'll go into one of my older ones. Or I might try to use, this one has a slightly darker, uh, slightly darker uh, bronzer in it. This is a Be A Light in the light to medium, I think. Yes, light to medium palette. So um, I'll play around with, uh, see which one. And we might end up throwing this blush in in addition to this one. So we'll see what happens with that. So those are our news. And I'm still trying to decide what to do about these if they don't quite work for my skin. So we'll see. We'll see. Alrighty, so my face is prepped and primed and ready to go. Uh, if you hear Shadow crying in the background, we have an absolutely beautiful day going on right now. So, but it's cold. But the cats don't care that it's cold. They see that it's sunny, it's no longer raining, and they want out. We aren't letting our animals out anymore because there have been some few problems. Uh, Gambit disappeared a few days for a few days and came back uh, injured. It wasn't serious, but it was enough. And then we've also noticed that a lot of the strays that used to be around here are no longer around here. So rather than losing our cats one way or another, they're no longer allowed outside. All right, so we can go ahead and get started. Uh, I haven't picked out a, the colors from this yet. Uh, honestly, honestly, I want to do something obviously kind of on the red reddish side. I'm probably going to end up using the black at some point. In fact, I might even use that for my eyeliner and see how it does for eyelining. But the rest of it, I'm not quite sure. So we'll start with something that I do know. And we will get into our kitten palette and go ahead and take this lighter color. Uh, this is called Purr. And we're going to put that underneath the brow. So last month was kind of a mixed bag. This is not unexpected, honestly. Um, when you're losing weight, apparently when you're gaining muscle um, or doing anything of that nature, the results don't seem to be even. And in fact, it's something I noticed, I guess it's been about two years, three years now. It's gotta be three years. Um, when I was working on uh, muscle back then as well, and that is even your muscle doesn't seem, your measurements don't seem to be consistently going one way or the other. I am finally consistently, well, I can't say finally consistently. The last two weeks I've managed to be consistent uh, with doing three days a week. Okay, so I'm gonna take Supernova I'm going to put that on the inner corner of my eye, and I'm going to put this color Curve on the outer part of my eye. <clears throat> now this is one of those, it has a mirror, and this is one of those, it's a little harder for me to use. It's just kind of awkward, so I'm just going to set that down. Anyway, as I was saying, I noticed that... Um, my measurements never quite kept going down. They'd go down and then go up and then go down and then go up. That's why I sometimes wonder if it's just a matter of um, whether or not whether or not the measurements actually do that or if um, if it's just a matter of where you're if you're just missing the mark on where you're putting the, uh, the tape measure. And for some of my measurements, I think some of that's just a matter of where I put the tape measure. Uh, like I um, not only measure around my belly button, but I also measure around, I mean my, I should say, I don't always measure, just measure around my waist, my natural waistline, but I also measure around my belly button because that's where some of my um, larger fat deposits sit. And while I'm not working on losing weight, 
because I am trying to build muscle, I am trying to lose actual fat, which is what most people who want to lose weight are actually looking to do. They want to lose fat. Um, they want a slimmer body, which is not necessarily just losing weight. It's re changing the composition to less fat, more muscle, and changing the shape through the muscle. So I noticed that last year, and uh, not last year, the last time I was actually working out on a consistent basis, which was a good couple years ago. I mean, you know, no, I had the baby and everything else. We've had a lot of in and out. So the first thing I need to note is that um, my weight did go up. I will say these are pigmented. They do need a little bit of building, a little bit of just getting it all in there, I guess, and then building up to really have the color show up for me, but they're not bad so far from this interstellar. Anyway, um, so I was off for about three years. Actually, probably, no, because I was going to say probably longer than that, but prior to that, menopause was messing me up. So I gained a little bit of weight during menopause because for some reason, all the right, doing all the right things didn't work right. <laughs> um, telling you, women, menopause. I, I'm, I'm glad it was as mild as it was. I had some hot flashes. Um, I had trouble sleeping at night sometimes, but I never got bitchy. I never, I never had any of those other issues. There's been a few other things that have happened that have not been happiness, you know, the best part of it, um, that have been disappointing, but it was not a totally miserable, I'm a screaming harridan, completely off the rocker type of menopause. So I'm grateful for that. Very grateful. I will take having a harder time losing weight. Um, and the few other, a couple of hot flashes and a few of the other things that I had over some of the nightmare things that I've heard of from menopause. Okay. I will take that. All right. So I'm taking this color curve using the same brush. And I'm going to put that on the outer side. This looks a bit on the brownish red side, but that's fine. Yeah, this has a purpley cast to it. Anyway, so I had gained a little bit through menopause, even though I was supposedly doing everything all correctly. Um, you know, I was counting my calories and doing all that stuff. And then when the baby came along, obviously I gained even more weight because all of a sudden I'm not working out. I'm too distracted with the baby and with what's going on with the family and all of that stuff to really pay attention to what's going on. So I regained half my weight, half my weight loss. Um, honestly, I'm grateful that it was only that much. Uh, from everything I've read, keeping the weight off is very, very difficult for 99% of people or 95% of people, I guess. They said that 5% of people managed to keep their weight off. So that I actually kept off half of what I lost to me is a success. Not a not the raging success that a lot of people would like me to have, but a success. All this work that I've done to like make my table work better and I still don't have any space. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, so I'm going to take, I don't know if this is going to work, I'm going to take this brownish color and I'm going to put that in my crease and make my wing. This has a nice little satiny sheen to it. So we will do that. And it's also on the reddish side. So anyway, so when I started this year, um, I was already halfway back up. Oh, wow, that's nice. I was already halfway back up to my old weight didn't reach it so I'm very pleased with that and in other ways I was much healthier um, I like I mentioned before I walk you know I'm on the move all day long and basically my movement is the equivalent of three to to five miles six miles a day um, so I was healthier um, I have been having more issues with my allergies 
but um so yeah i was a little bit higher and then over the winter sorry about that my mailman came in and i'm glad he did he's brought my other new item for today um i ordered this i love my new maybelline um foundation that i've been using lately but I've noticed with it and several others that I'm struggling with my skin looking drier once it's powdered. So I wanted to try something from Mario Badescu. And we're going to open this up here. I only bought a small one because I didn't want to buy a big one, not like it. And that's a small one? Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> um, so... I picked up the Mario Badescu Skin Care Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. Um, I'm going to use this to kind of like a setting spray when I'm done and see if it gives me a bit more of a um, less dry look to my skin. So this is going to be a new that we're playing with today. Anyway, so as I was saying, what was I saying? <gasps> Give me a minute. As I was saying, I uh, gained some weight over the few years and then of course every winter I seem to gain at least a few pounds and did that this winter so I started off um, the year actually a little quite a bit higher than I'm used to and then um, I went up a bit in February because again we're looking at it being winter time and the time of the year when I'm struggling with my weight and my weight gain and all of that stuff. So in February, I'm going to use a Pastron, a Pastron. I don't know. But I'm going to use this one to try to deepen my crease a little bit. It's another brown. Hopefully it's a little deeper. Oh yeah, that did it. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. This is actually working out very nicely. So, yeah, I gained all that weight, and then I gained some more through February. And I was actually kind of expecting that trend to continue. Uh, as my last video uh, indicated, control has been an issue for a little while um, between the cold weather because we're mammals. We're like other mammals. Uh, when it gets cold, our bodies want us to eat more to pad up to fight against the cold. And so you'll have to pardon the sniffling. Like I said, I've been having issues with my allergies and I have to go get my allergy pills, which I haven't done yet. Uh, but anyway, so... There's been, uh, so I figured I was going to gain some more, but the thing is, is I got put on my, um, blood pressure pills and they include they include a diuretic and a diuretic basically flushes water extra water out of your system. I am going to use these two greens transient and big bang transient is going to go on the outside and big bang is going to go on the inside well yes we're almost done i'm, I'm thinking about possibly throwing uh, one of these lighter golds over the middle but other than that we are almost done with our eyes um so i actually lost three pounds yeah that's a really dark mossy green I actually lost about three pounds um, last month, but I think most of that was in the latter part of the month after I got my um, uh, my meds. I'll be honest; I don't I don't think that was anything on me. It could have been, but as you guys know, I'm not overly worried about weight right now. I just thought I'd mention I did lose inches in a few places. I lost inches around, let me look at my notes here. So I lost around my waist and I lost around my thigh. I lost about a half inch on both of those. 
Um, I gotta keep looking at the camera. I keep looking over here and you guys are probably over there. But I gained anywhere from a quarter of an inch to one and a quarter inches in my bicep, in uh, the area under my bust, um, in my hips and in my bicep, under bust, and belly button. These are not bad numbers, honestly. I do, I'm trying to get rid of the stuff around my belly mostly because that's where the biggest risk is. Measurements in the past, when I was working on this in the past, went back and forth. So next month, I may, uh, you know, gain back on my uh, thigh, the half inch, and maybe another quarter inch, or um, while losing a half inch around my belly button, and then the month after that, I'll lose it on the thigh, and the belly button will go back up. I do not know why that happens. Like I said, I think some of that may be, um, may just be That's not nearly as bright as I thought it would be. I guess that's not a very bright color. It's a pretty color. And it does keep the pink from looking, it does keep this from looking too Christmassy. But um, anyway, I don't know why that happens. I haven't figured out if that's normal. Um, I've done, I've tried to research it and I haven't found any articles that talk about how consistently you lose inches when you're doing that or i should say how consistently you should lose inches when you do that but that may actually be a good thing because i think sometimes i think sometimes when someone says okay if you're cutting back 1500 calories you should lose three pounds a week or something like that um and then you cut back 1500 calories and you lose a pound and a half. I think then you look at that article, the articles that say that you should be losing three pounds on that cutback and look at what you're actually losing and immediately go, what am I doing wrong? And you may not be doing anything wrong. You may be perfectly, you know, precisely counting your food, precisely counting your um, exercise, but your metabolism is different or um, some your body isn't processing something the same way as you expected it to process it or something like that I'm going to take a little bit of this color it's a matte color it's called Duchess I'm going to take a little bit of that and brush that over and lighten that lighten the inner part of my eye up a little bit so I don't know how many inches I should be losing on the type of weight I'm doing. And maybe that's one reason why you don't see articles saying how much you, how many inches you lose a week or could lose a week. Um, because it depends on what you're doing for your exercise and all of that stuff. Um, and technically speaking, you can't. You can't spot reduce, so to speak. You can't lose weight in particular spots. When you're losing weight and you're working out, you generally lose all over, <laughs> whether you want to or not. As many a woman who has lost a bus size will tell you, <laughs> we, cannot, we cannot control that part of the weight loss. So um, I'm not sure if my inches that I'm losing are, you know, in the ballpark. Um, probably a good thing that I don't know that and probably something I shouldn't worry about, but I'm a numbers girl. <laughs> and if I'm not gonna focus on losing the actual weight, I want some numbers I can focus on. <laughs> uh, but at this point, I'm gonna count it, you know, yeah, it was a mixed bag, lost, Two, almost three pounds. I think most of it was in the last two weeks and I think most of it was from the diuretic, but I did lose it and losing the water weight is not necessarily a bad thing since 
that contributes to headaches and all those other things that you're having issues with when you have high blood pressure. So that's a good thing, even if it wasn't self-induced, so to speak. Um, I did lose a few inches here and there, but again, you know, early in the month, I was still struggling with that consistency. But later in the month, I did have some weeks that were really, really good. I'm going to take this color Orbital right here. And I'm going to put that just across the middle of the lid. Blend those out a bit. Doesn't look very bright, and I may have to go over it with something else. Oh, it'll, I think it'll work for now. It is lightening things up. The other thing is, is we had a few weeks um, last month. These places that will pick up and deliver your food for you are evil. <laughs> we got DoorDash, and while we are enjoying it, we are also enjoying it a little too much. I'm just going to go with that. It's a little too much, guys. All right, so I'm going to take another bit of this color curve and fill back out on the end because the gold went out. I am not seeing... There is fallout, but it's not a lot, so that's nice. I think I'm going to like this palette. It is more on the neutral side for me, but it is... I think that works. I think it's a pretty... Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty pigment, and it's doing pretty well. Some of them had to be built, but that's okay. So I'm going to do this. I actually picked up some barley. So I've got barley back in my diet, which has a good protein content and a good um, fiber content, both of which are things I look for or I'm trying to build up. My protein has been consistently on the higher side. Also something I'm working on. Um, for my weight and for the exercise I do um, to build muscle, I need between 90 and 120 grams of protein. And most days I get at least 90. And more often than not, I get over 100. So I'm doing really well on that. We are eating more fresher food. We've sort of settled out um, a routine of who cooks when, which has been a problem in the past. Um, my husband likes to cook, but there are days when he just wants a break. And my daughter has mentioned in the past that she wanted to cook. And so we finally figured out a day for her to cook, and there's a day I cook. And then, you know, I'll also step in if he's too tired one night. And... Um, so yeah, we've got we've we've got things moving forward. Uh, we're st I'm still struggling a little bit with the sweets, but not as bad. Um, the last time I went grocery shopping, I did pick something up, I think, but it wasn't much. No, the last time I went grocery shopping, all I got was bars and yogurt. So working on that. Um, and I haven't, I, I avoided the, I did look for one thing in the Easter aisle, but other than that, I just, when I didn't see it, I just kept going. So I count that as a win because it's real easy to go, well, this is not here. I think I'll just grab this instead, <laughs> which is what I did over Valentine's. So yeah, it's easy to do that. And I didn't do that this time. So that's a win. And hopefully I can keep doing that until Easter is done in April. Uh, <laughs> need all that Easter candy out of there, but uh, yeah, no, yeah. And uh, like I said, we're doing better on what we're cooking. Um, we want to have more fish in our diet, but that's a little more on the expensive side. So I don't see that happening any time soon. <laughs> we did have some the other night. It was really, really good to have it. So, but we're, um, we're not eating a lot of steak. We're not, lately we've been eating more um, ground beef again for cost but we tend towards chicken and pork for the most part because those are lean meats and they're healthier meats and they tend to be a leaner on the fat especially if you remove skin or whatever and i think i've pretty much covered most of it so things are moving forward and i will uh, i'm gonna go finish my face and i will be back and we will talk you know wrap it all up and everything so we're back with uh, crazy 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 third day hair. 
I'm telling you, I'm getting the hair thing down, but the third day is still getting kind of, it's still a little on the tough end for me. Anyway, uh, the bronzer actually worked fairly well, I think. Um, it is on the lighter side, but, and it is also a little bit on the cooler side, but I think it worked fairly well with this. I wasn't sure if the highlighter would, and I think it did a decent job as well. So I'm actually pretty surprised at this, and um, I'm going to keep playing around with it and at least for another, probably the rest of the month. After that, we'll be hitting summer, and these colors will be definitely too light for me. Um, the Maro Badescu, I like it. I think it helped with what I wanted it to help with. I wish it was a little less spitty. <laughs> it does have a bit of a spray of a mist, but there are also big drops in that mist that you get. So um, I think it could have been a... a better sprayer but beyond that um i'm pretty pleased with that particular purchase i think i'm going to be okay with this uh so to get back to what we were talking about it round everything up uh i think every month you're going to have your um uh your successes and your fails and i think part of it is to remember that it's a journey and it's not just that one month. And if you're going to work on your health, you're going to have to be very consistent for pretty much the rest of your life. So um, taking one month's um, failures and making them the focus when you've got all this time ahead of you and you have successes behind you, um, not a healthy way to go and not a good way to go. Uh, we need to keep our, um, if we're going to be working on our health, particularly in areas that are difficult, like building muscle, losing fat, um, changing our diet, uh, things like that. If we're going to be working on those things, I think we need to take all the successes we can. So for me, I think last month was pretty successful in the terms that um, I did manage at least two weeks. I can't remember if I did so on the second week, but I know for the last two weeks that I managed to consistently do three days a week on uh, workouts. I don't think I did on the second week because I think I was sick, but I can't remember. Um, I will need to get these allergies under control next. Uh, yeah, I lost some weight and a lot of that weight probably had to do with um, the uh, blood pressure pill, but I am back on my blood pressure pill, so that's a good thing and that's Anything from here on out should be pretty much anything I do, but though, again, I'm not focusing on weight. I am focusing on trying to build muscle and I'm expecting to um, gain a little bit more before I start actually losing a little bit more. Uh, did lose a couple of inches. Not sure if those are going to stay consistent. We'll have to see. I think overall I did really, really well last month and... Um, I'm looking forward to more consistent downward. You know, I think it's going to be like, okay, two steps forward, one step back kind of thing. But as long as it keeps going in the net direction of forward, I think I'm doing okay. Um, we did improve on our food a little bit. I look that way because that's where our kitchen is. But we did improve on our food a little bit. And we did settle down with um, a... a kind of a schedule on who's cooking when which will help with that and um we're getting my daughter involved to help out as well and so yeah i think overall last month was a lot of step forwards no matter what any inches or anything on the scale looks like i think we did really good on um just moving forward and that's where i need to be right now is just moving forward um with muscle, I'm not sure how long it takes for those things to actually show up and build and get there. Yes, I did do it for a little while uh, before my time off, but um, even then I was seeing a lot of back and forth movement. And the only thing that I can say that was encouraging to me at the time was that when people saw me, they said, you look like you're losing weight. And I knew I wasn't losing weight. So my body was redefining itself according to the workouts I was doing. And I think that's what I need to keep looking forward to from um, now to the future. Uh, we'll have to see how all that goes. And um, yeah, so I think last month was fairly successful for me and hopefully your month was successful too and uh 
yeah, I think that's about it. That's about it. I hope you all like what you've seen and that if you're not subscribed, that you will subscribe. If you do subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I currently upload uh, four days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And occasionally there are some bonus videos. We do have some bonus videos. Going to be coming very, very soon. You'll see. You'll see. If you're part of the notification squad, please do check your bell and your subscription because those have been getting lost along the way for some people. If you don't subscribe, we would be very sad, but you're always welcome back. And before I get you coming back again, I forgot to show off the look. I am starting to lose it on the inner eye as usual. Eh, it's my eyes. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, I think there's enough staining there. This did... Um, it doesn't stand up to my eyes, but as well as say my Violet Voss, but for most of them, even for most um, high-end palettes, I don't expect them to stand up to my eyes uh, very well uh, on the inner corner, but it is just the inner corner this time, so, uh, it, and it did repair fairly well, even though I lost it and had to do it again. Um, I ended up doing it the second time, fixing it the second time with a sponge tip applicator. Um, so... Yeah, it's 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 decent for the price. It's really good for the price, and um, can't say I'm over the moon about it. But like I said, for most of my eyeshadows, if um, if I can repair them, I'm happy enough. But anyway, so here is our look completed. Uh, hopefully, it's not too bad in there, and you can see that it's really good. Uh, I actually really in think I really like this look. It is a bit more on the neutral side of a red tone for me, but I think it actually came out pretty nice. I think so. Anyway, so that is it for today, and let's try our tea and see if it has managed to strengthen up at all. I'm not holding my breath. It is also very cold, but let's give it a taste and see if we've gotten any better results. My cup is like a little bit wet. I think I spilled a little bit at one point. We've had a little bit of a, mm, yes, yeah, one of those days. But let's give this a sip and see how it's doing. It actually is pretty decent cold. I'm really surprised. Um, the taste, the flavor is stronger and it does lean more towards that coffee-ish, but not totally a coffee flavor that I like. But I do think it's a bit weaker because there wasn't a lot of, um, of the tea left for me to put in the little bag. Uh, however, it's decent. It's, it's, it's nice. Yeah, that's, that's actually, it's got that, you know, that kind of chocolate coffee fa flavor and being cold now, it actually really works. It's kind of a, you know, a cold chocolatey, like a, you know, maybe like a cold coffee. It, it's really nice. I'm actually kind of surprised that it's as nice as it is. Hmm, considering how weak as it was when it started out and, you know, anyway. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day. Bye.